The way I'm running these beautiful shaders is by using Iris 1.21. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install Iris 1.21. So you could pretty much take off shaders whenever you want and not just take them off, but also put them on whenever you want by pressing just a single button. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to get Iris for Minecraft 1.21 is to click the second link in the description, which is a reading guide on how to download and install Iris. If you don't want to read through this whole thing, just scroll down to step one and click download Iris here. That is going to redirect you to the Iris official website where we're going to click download now. And now go ahead and click download Universal Jar. Immediately, you will see the download begin. And while Iris is downloading, here's a message from Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, either Java or Bedrock server, a server that is open 24 7, so you don't have to worry about IP leaks or IP attacks or anything like that, then this is the perfect service for you. They will give you 25% off if you use that first link in the description. And something that I personally love besides them having locations all around the world is the fact that you could add over 200 mod packs with just a click of a button. And also, not only can you create the server using your phone, but also you could access the server console through your phone, meaning that you could be away from the house and still control your server, kick people out, do whatever you want because it is your server. I'm going to leave that first link in the description for 25% off. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, when Iris finished downloading, let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. And this is the Iris installer. Now, the next step is kind of optional for you, but I do recommend that you download some type of shader to try out Iris Shader because Iris Shader is just a shader loader. It's not a shader within itself. So we're going to have to go ahead and download a shader if we're going to try this out. In this case, I'm going to download complementary shaders. And if you want to download the same shaders as me, just click on the third link in the description. These shaders are beautiful and they're the ones that you saw in the intro of this video. As you can see, they look amazing. And if you just want to download this shader again, click on the third link, scroll down to step one and click download. Again, that's our written guide on how to download and install these shaders. But once you click download, that is going to bring you over here. And of course, go ahead and select 1.21. Once you select that, click on download file and the download will begin within five seconds over here. You could download whatever shaders you want. Again, that's optional. That's up to you. In this case, we're going to download complementary shaders. Now, once you have those shaders that you really want, it's time to begin installing Iris Shader. First thing you want to do is close out from Minecraft 1.21 as well as from the Minecraft launcher. And once Minecraft is completely closed, 100%, go ahead and right click on the Iris installer, click open with and click Java. And that is going to open the installer for Iris. As you can see in here, 1.21 is already selected for us. However, if that's not the case, you could always find it here. Just scroll down until you see it and then just hit install and the installation will begin. The only issue that I could imagine you could have while trying to open the installer is that it doesn't open because you don't have Java 21 installed. See, Java 21, it's a requirement to install any mod for Minecraft 1.21. The thing is that after Minecraft got updated to 1.20.5, you now need Java 21. So Java 17 won't do it. Java 7, Java 8 won't do it. And if you don't have any Java at all, then it won't do it. You will have to install Java 21. Click on the fourth link in the description. It's our written guide on how to install Java 21. Pretty much you download Java and then you hit next a couple of times and you will install Java 21. With that, you could actually open the jar files like the Iris installer. Anyways, once you install Java 21, sometimes you might have to go over to other room programs and remove your older Javas or maybe you redirect your Java instance to only open this certain jar file. But most of the time, installing Java 21 and maybe running a jar fix right after will fix the issue. Anyways, once Iris has been installed, go ahead and close out from the installer. And guess what? You could even delete the Iris installer as you don't need it anymore. And now let's go ahead and open our Minecraft launcher. Now, once the Minecraft launcher has opened, if we install Iris properly, you should see selected here automatically. And yes, you are ready to play. If you already see Iris and Sodium in there, you could go ahead and hit play and play using Iris. If you don't see Iris in there, however, just set over to installations and make sure you have modded selected. As without modded, you won't see it in here. But yeah, make sure you select it. And if that still doesn't fix it for you, just click on new installation, name this whatever you want. Like for example, Apex Hosting, since they'll give you 25% off your first server using the first link in the description. And then for the version in here, you want to look for Iris. So you just go ahead and type Iris and then Iris will come up the 1.21 version. As you can see in there, you could also just look for it in here. Once you select it, all you have to do is click create down here on the bottom right. And that will actually add an instance of Iris for you in here. But no matter what way you found or created Iris in here, either in installations or on play, just go ahead and open it by hitting play. You might get a prompt in here sometimes saying, are you sure you want to play modern Minecraft? Just go ahead and select it and then hit play again. And I will see you once the game opens. Now, once the Minecraft game opens, we know that we're in Minecraft Iris because it literally says fabric down here on the bottom right. But we're still going to go ahead and test it out. In this case, I'm going to launch a single player world. You could use this on multiplayer as well because Iris is just a shader loader and it's a client side mod, meaning that you could join servers and multiplayer servers and stuff. If you don't have a server, just go ahead and use that first link in the description to create your own server. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen, this game is already beautiful because I already had some shaders added. But most likely for you, when you join the game, it's going to look something like this. So let me go ahead and take off those shaders. If you're wondering how I did that, I just press the letter K on my keyboard and that will disable the shaders for you. But this is most likely what your game is going to look like. Well, maybe a little bit different because I also have a resource pack on. It's called the bare bones texture pack for those of you that are going to ask. We have videos and guides on the website on how to do this. Anyways, once you join the world, all you have to do is press escape, head over to options, head over to video settings. And as you can see, this whole menu has changed in here, head over to shader packs. And in here, this is where the magic happens. Most likely, most of you won't see anything in here. But the 
way that we're going to add things in here is by clicking where it says open shader pack folder then that is going to open this folder app in here which as you can see has a lot of files for me and i went ahead and made minecraft smaller to not confuse you all it has a lot of files for me and most likely for you guys it won't have anything and you guessed it all we have to do is drag and drop that shaders that we downloaded earlier into here in this case it is a complementary inbound shaders but if you already had other shaders just go ahead and drag and drop them into here now close out from that folder open minecraft back up and you should see the complementary inbound or whatever shader you added appearing here now go ahead and select those shaders you just added and then click apply give it a couple seconds though depending on your computer it could take a minute it could take two it could take 10 seconds it all depends on your computer and then after a while it will all load just go ahead and hit done a couple of times and go back into the game and as you can see you have some beautiful shaders working in minecraft 1.21 and that's all due to iris being installed something that you could do and i think it's pretty useful with iris besides being able to you know press k and then taking off the shaders and then pressing k again and having the shaders come back on something that you could do is just press the letter o on your keyboard so if you press o and that actually brings you over here to the shader packs folder so say that you have different shaders in here you could just press o and come over here and change in between shaders so that is pretty much guys how to download and install iris for minecraft 1.21 don't forget to subscribe and as always bye bye